Hello, I'm using this Anki to to help Wicca remember English vocabulary. For those who are not a native English speaker and struggling with the English vocabulary, in this video I will share some of my insight. Everyone knows the best way to learn a new language is to live in that country where people speak the language you are learning, which is called language immersion. But for most people, especially for kids lived in an English-speaking country, such as in East Asia, few people get that opportunity. For example, there are only two English lessons for Mika every week, but in the meantime, she don't get much chance to practice English. And in recent years, the teacher in public school seem to put less effort on English teaching than when I am in the school age. I don't know why. So I have to use the old-fashioned way, which is to remember vocabulary regularly. Many people don't like this way because it is not funny and not intuitive, which would be against the nature of the kids. Well, there's always a dispute with this. I don't want to be part of it, but I think everything comes with a cost. If I want Mika to build a solid English fundamental, to sacrifice some fun of learning is inevitable. And what I'm going to do is to find a anti-boring approach to do this. To be honest, in the very beginning, if I can remember correctly, I tried to write a program based on Scratch version 1 and later version 2, even Python, which turns out fine, but it's, it is too hard to maintain and finally abandoned. After that, I began to realize maybe I'm reinventing the wheel, so I made a study on the internet to Google related open source software. By the way, I used Fedora as my main operating system for years before transiting to Mac OS in 2013, so open source software is my first way to go. I will cut to the chase. Finally, I got a list for flashcard program. As the first one is Anki, I decided to use it. I think all the software on the list have got a good reason behind. If you are looking for this program like me, always try more is not a bad idea. There are already a lot of Anki tutorials on YouTube. I just want to list some of the key points from my perspective. Number one. It supports images and spelling, which is very useful for kids learning. Number two, it will track your progress based on an LG rhythm, which I think all the software list here can kind of do it, but Anki looks easy for me. Number three, try to install a night mode add-on. It will be very useful to ease you and your kids' eyes. Number four, you don't want to lose your progress because of computer crash or data corrupt. Prioritize your backup plan. Actually, it is very easy to export data, including image file, out of Anki. So here is the last part, also known as the complicated parts. The concept definition. It is quite complicated in Anki. You need to spend some time to get used to it. I drew a picture trying to make it simple. The key concept here is nodes. You should define your own fields for nodes or use the default fields with nodes. Fields here is what the information pieces you should input for remembering in some way. And the card is the combination of some of the fields which is the way you want to learn like quick scan or spell practice. When you created a notes type and define cards, then just add the learning material to your notes type. The program will help you generate the related learning card or cards based on your card configuration. Finally, I will give you a simple demo to show how to create a simple flashcard. Number one, create a deck, which is a card set collection for your training.
Number two, create a notes type. Number three, create your fields. Number four, manage cars template. Number five, add vocabulary. Number six, there you go. Well, that's my favorite Angie too. If you have questions about it, just leave your comments below. Thank you for watching. See you later.